why the B-21 Raider stealth bomber is so important for the U.S. Air Force. For the United States Air Force, or the USAF, Northrop Grumman is currently developing the B-21 Raider strategic bomber. It is intended to be an advanced, extremely long-range, massive, heavy payload stealth intercontinental strategic bomber for the USAF that could deliver both conventional and nuclear missiles as part of the Long Range Strike Bomber, or LRSB, program. In July 2014, a Request for Proposals, or RFP, to create the aircraft was released. The Air Force had intended to buy 80 to 100 LRSB aircraft for $550 million each in 2010, to eventually have 175 to 200 of them in service. Northrop Grumman received a development contract in October 2015. According to a source in the media, the bomber might also be utilized as an interceptor, combat manager, and intelligence gathering platform. The LRSB received the official designation B-21 at the 2016 Air Warfare Symposium, designating it as the first bomber of the 21st century. According to the then Secretary of the Air Force, Deborah Lee James, the B-21 is a fifth-generation global precision attack platform that will enable the United States to hold targets at risk through networked sensor shoot capabilities. The commander of the U.S. Air Force Global Strike Command anticipates that at least 100 B-21 bombers will be ordered and projects that there will eventually be between 175 and 200 of them in use. According to two internal USAF assessments, the Air Force may decide to purchase up to 145 B-21s instead of just 80 to 100. By 2030, Initial Operating Capacity, or IOC, is anticipated to be attained. The U.S. Air Force announced in July 2016 that it will not disclose the projected cost of the B-21 deal with Northrop Grumman, claiming that doing so would give potential enemies too much knowledge about the project. Over the objections of a bipartisan group of lawmakers led by the committee's chairman, Senator John McCain of Arizona, the United States Senate Committee on Armed Services voted to restrict the release of the program's cost information to congressional defense committees and not to the general public. By imposing strict baseline and cost control thresholds, quarterly program performance reports, and disclosure of the engineering and manufacturing development total contract award value, Senator McCain's proposed amendments to the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2017 would have reduced the B-21 program's authorization by $302 million due to a lower-than-expected contract award value. We have been anticipating the debut of the brand-new B-21 Raider bomber, and it appears that we will see it this year. To welcome in the new year with a spectacular new generation bomber that can sneak into contested airspace and unleash missiles or dump bombs at adversary targets, the stealth flying wing aircraft should be made public in December. First New Bomber in Decades The first week of December is the projected date for the launch of the new bomber, the Director of Air Force Acquisition and Procurement stated at a conference last month. The last time a brand new bomber was first shown to the public was in 1988, when the B-2 Spirit was shown at its California manufacturer. Suspense is building for initial glimpse. If all goes according to plan, the B-21 will have made its first flight in 2019. Only artist renderings have so far been made publicly accessible. The B-21, however, is still in the ground test phase, so it's possible that it won't be ready by December. Regardless of when it is introduced, the Air Force will have achieved a critical milestone. If it is made available to media and defense analysts, the inaugural flight will be as exciting. Keep Costs Down Since flying time for the 20 B-2s already in service is getting more and more expensive by the hour, the Air Force is hoping the bat-shaped B-21 will be less expensive to repair and keep in the air. If it can achieve the December target for a public exhibition, its first flight in 2023 and its deployment in large numbers by 2025 or 2026, the B-21 will continue to be on schedule and under budget. 
The B-21 will cost the Air Force dearly, with a projected $203 billion in expense for 100 aircraft over 30 years. To save money, the service branch decided against implementing the notion of a drone faithful wingman for the B-21 program. Digital Tools Improve Maintenance Turnarounds the B-21 program is using digital tools and digital modeling, in addition to common support equipment to further reduce costs, according to Steve Sullivan, Vice President of the Strike Division at Northrop Grumman, in an interview with Breaking Defense. Quote, This is the situation where the digital tools we have created are vital. With the aid of this equipment, we can measure and record any flaws which are later input into a digital model to ascertain which, if any, negatively impact our signature and require correction. This considerably reduces maintenance time between missions and enables the maintainers to focus just on the issues that have an impact on the aircraft's capacity to complete its next mission, according to Sullivan. Update the Nuclear Triad The B-21 will play a significant part in America's nuclear triad because it is nuclear capable. Not only can the aircraft drop bombs and launch missiles, but it also has other capabilities. Additionally, it may perform electronic warfare and gather information for surveillance, reconnaissance, and intelligence. On time and under budget. The B-21 program would be deemed successful if timelines are met and all ground testing requirements are satisfied before the aircraft's first flight in 2023. Even the best aircraft experience delays and cost overruns, but the Air Force and Northrop Grumman deserve praise for moving the bomber forward to this point. The B-21 has a wide range of intriguing capabilities. It is a multi-role bomber that will outperform the B-2 in terms of long-range, radar-evading performance and precision attack capability deep in hostile airspace. The B-21 can rule the skies and give Russia and China more to be concerned about if the Air Force acquires 100 or even half that amount.